Yo, what's up guys, Snowboxy and Legend is back with another video. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about uncopy lock Roblox games. So what's an uncopy lock game? Basically that that games allow you to copy the sources and stuff from the game. And let's try using one for an example. So in order to find an uncopy lock game, you could type in the search bar uncopy lock. Let's see what we're gonna get when we hit it. We're gonna hit enter. And as you see, there's a lot of uncopy lock games. And I haven't done this for a while, so I'm surprised to see some of them that's like interesting. Alright, so let's try picking Doomspire Brick Battle to go simple. So this is Doomspire Brick Battle. And we could try testing the game out by actually hitting play before we uncopy lock the game. It's loading right now. And let's see if this game is good or not. In order to check it, we're gonna try like using playing the game in general and see like how the food stuff is. And this is actually pretty good, although it's a bit chaotic unlike the other versions. But so far it seems like a good game. Let's try test testing the weapons to see if it actually works. But I don't know if I have I, I don't know if I could. Because it's so chaotic. Alright, so we're we're gonna climb up. And the guys, where's the guy at? Oh, over there. And this is how you know the game works if you die from this. And it's pretty cool in effect. So obviously, it seems like a good game to uncopy lock. So let's try uncopy locking it right now. We're gonna hit the three dots and then hit edit in studio. And now we could customize stuff the way we want it. So let's see how the game looks on copy lock and this looks good so they got the starting GUI that started GUI is the start one so we could move it around we could change it we could put it somewhere else where it wouldn't work and then now we could freely customize it but at the end we gotta remember to place it back so what if we change one of the base color to a different color let's try doing that so blue Let's try making it purple now. How about that? We gotta change it to purple. And pretty much now, it's purple. Oh, I forgot to do the path too. Hold on. I'm gonna make it more purple. So now we made this part pur purple. And we could change the name of it to purple too. And the next thing we, we gotta do, I think they put all the teams like blue, red, green, or yellow here. So, let's try making it purple instead. I think we gotta keep the name blue though. Unless if you wanna get into the further scripts. But I'm trying to make this video quick. So I'm not gonna like fully change around. But you could also go to the, like the server script service. And you could look for like the teams. And then you could change it, the name of it to purple. But let's just change the color of like how it looks on a GUI but not the name. After we're done with customizing it, we gotta put the start GUI back so it would work. So it's back in start GUI, we're gonna hit play. And now we actually gotta like keep respawning. Actually no, we gotta keep rejoining, I meant, to try and get purple. But as you see it's displayed that that there's a purple team. So there's a chance we might not get it because there's like barely any people. But if we go up and look this side, you see there's a purple tower instead of blue. So now we got green, yellow, red, and purple. We could consider this the 2023 version of Doom Spire Brick Battle. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.